So Frontier side didgeridoo playing, that's one of the most famous topics of all time of didgeridoo players. And um, to give you a quick answer about this one, it's not that important. Now, if you go a little bit deeper into it, you can start with an example. An example we will take will be Andre Smekel. I'm quite sure you know him or you know about him. And he's one of the greatest didgeridoo players ever. He has changed what didgeridoo is in this reality. And even if many great players will come, he will still be one of the greatest ever. So that is his importance. I don't know if you've noticed, but he plays quite on the side, especially in his uh, earlier uh, recordings, that's uh, quite obvious. And he's not very disturbed about it. He still plays like unbelievably good. And I'm quite sure that, unfortunately, many people who watch this video will never come even close to that level of playing. So you shouldn't be quite really deeply concerned about whether you uh, are blocked by the fact that you play slightly on the side. To go even deeper into it, I don't think that it's totally relevant whether you play on the side or front, because you could be playing on the wrong side. So that could be quite wrong. But you see, our bodies are asymmetrical, and you don't want to write the same with both hands. Probably you can use one hand much better for writing, and the other not so much. And why would it be different with your lips? You know, why would one side of your lips be should be absolutely the same like the other? Your face is asymmetrical. Why should everything on you be absolutely symmetric? And if you're looking for that symmetry, with playing, um, that's fine, but I don't think you should be very concerned about it in terms of if you, everything is going right and if you manage to get your time for practicing, then I don't really see a problem there. But I see almost an ide ideologic uh, way of looking at this front or side. So. I feel what is important is that you do not use your mouthpiece so much on the side that it's like taking part of your face here, okay? So the part which doesn't have lips. So if you're playing like this, I don't think that's a good thing because you're lacking um, place to express because with this part of your face you can't do anything playing-wise. But if you're, you're playing like this, I don't see that as wrong. And um, so you can say that Aborigines, they play front, totally front, but that's also not true. Some of the Aborigines play a little bit on the side. I also play a little bit on the side. And that's also not completely true because I play a little bit on the side when I'm playing certain things. Like if I want a really clear drone, I move uh, my mouth a little bit to the side because just because of the physical connection, I feel that my lips are a little bit stronger here. And that's especially true with high digits. With lower digits, I play them more uh, middle. When I'm playing air code, I'm playing totally in the middle. And so I shift a little bit the mouthpiece like this when I'm playing. And for that, I feel it's important that you do not have um, very thick mouthpieces and mouthpieces with beeswax because it sticks to your face and then you can't really move without moving the face with it. So I feel mouthpieces which are thin and slightly round at the top, they are best because they have no friction or they have less friction. So you can move inside the song. When I was on Andre's workshop, I think it was 2005, um, when he was already everything that I told you, so he was a superhuman player, he said that now he would choose to play in uh, damn it, we really can't go on like this. Now he would choose to play on the front if he could to be symmetric, but he didn't say the reason for that. He just mentioned symmetry. I really don't feel even that that symmetry is very important, unless that position of mouthpiece 
puts your neck so crammed on one side and you play like this and then you have neck problems. Then I feel it's good to go a little bit more uh, to the middle, uh, to front. But um, besides uh, the crooked position, I don't even see the symmetry as, uh, as a reason to play totally front because many ditch players, many aboriginal ditch players, many trumpet players, and brass players in general, play a little bit on the side. And I just think that's fine. And I feel that it's great to have some possibility to move the mouthpiece left and right. And um, that's pretty much everything I have to say on the topic in terms of left and right movement of and the center of uh, the mouthpiece. I feel far more crucial if you do not dedicate the time, the cosmos will not reveal its secret to you. And that's the thing.